All right. Uh, somebody asked at the Artrage forums if they could possibly create a seamless pattern for using as grains in Artrage. Uh, while most people would use Photoshop for this uh, using the offset filter, uh, it is possible to do with Artrage. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, we'll start off by making a canvas uh, around the size of the tile that we want. Uh, I'm going to use 300 pixels. Okay, And then you want to load an image to a layer. So go to import image to layer and select the image that you want to use. I've got one set up. Uh, and there it is. It kind of looks like a coaster of some kind. Uh, you want to zoom in so that it fills up the entire screen. Okay. And here comes the important part. Uh, we're going to duplicate this four times. Okay, so I'm going to have four duplicates in total, plus the original. I'm going to hide the top one. We'll actually hide all four of the top ones for now. Uh, then we're going to transform layer contents and move the bottom layer down to the lower left corner. Okay. Unhide the next layer. Do the same to that, except move it to the bottom right. Uh, it's important that each edge matches up okay. as close as you can. Uh, and we're just going to keep doing this until we get all our corners situated. Okay, and you can see this corner is meeting the, the very corner of each of these two. So the seams line up. Okay, so now that we got that all set, uh, you can see where the seam is on, uh, it kind of looks like a crosshair right in the center. Uh, and obviously we don't want that. Now the reason why we're doing this is so that these edges uh, duplicate each other on each side. So right here is always going to match up over here. Uh, the bottom will always match up to the top. Now we just got to take care of the center. Uh, and that's why I have this original layer up top. So you unhide that one, and you take your eraser tool, and you just go around the edges, getting rid of the edge. That's actually probably a little bit too much. I'm going to undo that. You only want to take enough away so that the edge blends out. So you just go all the way around your edges. There. So now this is blocking out the uh, the seams in the center. Okay. So at this point, we can merge our layers. And if you had any lines that were visible along the very edge that you don't want, you just take your palette knife, set it to a small number pressure. It's like right here, I have a line that's kind of visible, so I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. Okay, but you don't want to work too close to the edge, otherwise you'll you'll ruin the effect on, on the uh, tiling. All right, so at this point we're pretty much done. You just go to File, Export as Image, name it what you want. I'm going to call it Cloth Texture, and now you can create a new painting using your new grain. Uh, let's see right use our window size, load our grain in, uh, and there it is, and so you can see it a little better, I'll paint over it using some kind of color, you can see how it's completely without any lines. So it's all seamless.
Father. 